just lost my Tilly hat. And I can't get up. Well, after three years, three locks today, three uh, bites to eat, and three pee breaks, we are back on Georgian Bay. Uh, and uh, we are heading into the, the town of Midland for, for tonight because the wind's supposed to pick up tomorrow considerably with gusts. So it's not a travel day. And so we will spend the next two days there and uh, show you what that looks like. Well, today and tomorrow and then head off on, that'll be Sunday because today's Friday. And uh, show you around there and see what that looks like. And uh, probably do some shopping too, right? Anchor Girl. Okay, so we will see you again on the way. So ends day three of our adventure, Summer Holidays 2015. We are still in uh, Midland, at Midland Harbor. We uh, arrived here yesterday and had a nice run in from Lockport 45. It was a little bit windy, but nothing too much. And actually, by the time we got here, um, the wind had died right down. And uh, docked nicely and we were able to fill up with water. Uh, didn't do a lot yesterday, just uh, once we got here, just sat back and relaxed. Today we did a bunch of shopping. We went into town to do some grocery shopping because we're going to be out for the next few days. And uh, went up uptown to the liquor store, the beer store, the creepy store. There's a really creepy store that Anchor Girl likes to go to. We've only been there once before because I said I never want to go back again. But she wanted to go there and take some pictures. Send to our daughter of creepy clowns. Cool. She says it's cool. But anyways, it's creepy. It's, it's the crow's nest. The crow's nest in Midland. If you're ever here, <laughs> don't go. It is well. They're they're old prams from like a hundred years ago with creepy dolls in them that are staring at you, and everybody knows <laughs> they're creepy. And Anchor Girl sent it, uh, a photo of one to our daughter, <laughs> and she replied that, thanks, now her phone has been haunted. Like, thanks for haunting her phone. Anyways, <laughs> apart from that, it's a beautiful day. We just had a uh, rainstorm, well, uh, I guess about three, four hours ago. When we were uptown, it started pounding down rain. Luckily, we had a uh, taxi ride back here because it was quite a hike up to the north end of town, east end of town. And now it has cleared up. The sun has come out and it was bloody hot and humid all day. And now that rain has sort of broke it a little bit. So we got a nice breeze going through here up in the flybridge, thankfully. Because like I said, it's been hot and it's been sweating all day. And it is, uh, it looks nice. And the next four or five days are supposed to be nothing but sunshine. And we have a really windy day uh, towards the uh, middle end of the week. Today is Saturday. So we are heading north tomorrow. And um, we're going to get to exactly where I can't tell you. We're going to probably go up to an area called Beausoleil Bay. And which is not too far from here and see if one of the uh, government docks 
have space available. Otherwise, we're probably going to head a little bit farther north, and then we'll see where we get to from there. So, right now, this is what we're looking at here, and this is the scene that we're enjoying. And um, thankfully, the weather has basically been cooperating with us. We knew the rain was coming today, and they were actually forecasting really heavy winds. And that's why the plan was to spend two nights here, like today, last night, today, to avoid all the... Uh, the storms but that never materialized we just had a big downpour and some uh, rain afterwards that was you know basically gone within an hour and the heavy winds never materialized and this is the strongest wind that we've been having all day which is happening right now which again is just a nice breeze blowing through the top side of the boat of course the inside of the boat is nicely air conditioned because we have shore power and the air conditions have been running since the moment we plugged in so that's that that is going to be my cutoff point for the first portion of our trip of uh, 2015 uh, summer vacation um, and I look forward to bringing you some more uh, spectacular footage from beautiful 30,000 islands of the trend center the, the uh, of Georgian Bay sorry um, just a quick note, when I mentioned the Trent 7, I was thinking about, I had the GoPro, my GoPro camera mounted there as I off do filming forward, and I filmed pretty much the whole trip, right from Lake Kuchiching, right uh, up to this point here. So um, there's going to be probably eight or nine hours altogether of video there. So I will, of course, be breaking those up to bite-sized chunks. I'll include a little bit in these little videos as we go along, and I'm going to be doing the same thing as we head north through Georgian Bay, through the 30,000 30, islands, and again, we'll be putting, uh, presenting those as um, you know, as little snippets within my videos taken with this camera, as well as standalone sit back Sunday videos, which because they're going to be long, long winded, and hopefully interesting to you. So, look forward to those as well. Okie dokie. So, signing off from Midland Harbor on this hot summer day in July. Cheers, and we'll see you tomorrow.